Hey there everyone, welcome to Technician. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic chart. So here is the data for sales of a company across various regions from January to June. So if I change the region, let's say to East, you get the East data with sales greater than 20,000. And let's say if I change the criteria to sales greater than 40,000, the chart automatically updates and equally spaces out the months which have sales greater than 40,000. No more empty spaces in the chart. Let's see how to do this. Here is the sales data of a company for various regions across various months. It is now easily possible to look at a portion of a data using the new Excel function called filter. Cells I2 and I3 are the criteria. And let's say we want to get the filtered data in this region. Let me put the headers. I have a detailed tutorial on how to use the filter function, which I'll mention in the description below. So let's type in the formula in cell H7 equal to filter of the array, which is going to be cell C3 to D26. The conditions I have two of them. So the first one I'm going to put in the brackets of the region, which is D3 to D26, should be equal to I2, and which we can achieve with the multiplication of the asterisk symbol. The second condition is going to be sales, which is D3 to D26 should be greater than cell i3. If it is empty, we can say no data. And let me close this. There, we now have the months where the sales is greater than 30,000. So let's say if I change it to 20,000, February gets added to the list. All we need to do now is to create a chart from this data. So let's click anywhere within this data and go to insert and let me insert a column chart. We need to format the data for the sales. I'm just going to make it as a number. Now let's also add a dynamic chart title. So let's go to cell K1 and type in the formula equal to Let's refer to cell I2 and open double quotes with the space, type in sales greater than another space and cell I3. We get cell K1 E sales greater than 20,000. I can go to the title here, click on the title in the chart to the bar here and say equal to k1 now let's see the advantage of creating the chart with this setup so if i select the region now and put not i'll get the not sales greater than 20,000. notice that we have all the months mentioned in this chart let's say if i change the sales to 40,000. Notice that there are only two months and they are equally spaced within a chart. No more empty white spaces. Using this setup, we can get dynamic charts which can easily be used for reporting. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.